Hi, I'm Phil from W2LIE.net. In this video, we are going to go through the steps required to download and install the PCR remote software and how to operate and use the PCR 1000 radio located at W2LIE.net. To begin this process, we go to the main W2LIE.net webpage located at www.W2LIE.net and along the top menu area we're going to click on premium content and scroll down to the web controlled radio now on the screen if you are a premium member you will see the web radio password we'll discuss this further in the video what we are looking for is the web controlled radio installing when we click on that it will open up a page on how to install the software required to use the PCR 1000. If you'd like to print this page out, simply click on the print logo. To start, let's look for the first link, which will take us to the PCR remote download page. We want to make sure that we are on the PC remote and the download section, and scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page we are looking for the PCR remote installer not the PCR server so let's click on the PCR remote installer and we can open this directly from the link we do not need to save the file and we see several files in this download so we are looking for setup.exe we double click and we're going to click on OK. We are going to take the default directory and click on the computer box here to start the installation process. And again we are picking the default values. Now as you can see the PCR remote software is installing and it says the setup was successful. And that's all there is to installing the PCR remote software. Now that we have the PCR remote software installed on the computer, we simply start it by going down to Start, Programs, and searching for the PCR remote software program group. So as you can see, when the program starts, it looks kind of like a display for a typical receiver. There are a few things we need to do to connect the PCR remote to the PCR server. First thing you want to do is go up to Edit, change my info on the name section please put your name that you use as your user login at w2lie.net and also put in a location and click save it you'll also need to put in a server password to connect to the PCR server in this example the password will be demo passwords are available for those members who are premium members at the w2lie.net website and occasionally we will open up the PCR remote for demo users as well so now that we have the password and info we also need to set up the server the server address is remote.w2lie.net and the port number remains untouched at 16501 and that's the default port again the server is remote.w2lie.net now in this example I'm behind a firewall so I will change the server address for the computer behind the firewall again you will not be entering this as a server we click and it turns blue and after a brief handshake we now see the server is enabled and the power light turns green we are now connected to the PCR server additionally we also need to open up an audio player and to do that we go back to the w2lie.net website 
Now in order to listen to the audio feed, we need to go over here and click on Listen Live. And from the pull down menu, we're going to click on Web Radio. This will open up a new dialog box and will connect us to the PCR 1000 audio feed. Now keep in mind there is a delay between the audio that you are listening to and the video on the PCR 1000. Now that we have the audio player and the video feed before taking control of the radio and scanning through we ask that you first or that you first do a courtesy call by clicking on options chat and asking is anyone using the radio tonight send now as you can see here is the screen the name we put in when we set up the server and here's the message that went out to anybody who's logged into the PCR server. Now that we know that nobody's using the radio, we can take control and use it as we wish. Let's take a moment to see what we're looking at here. We have the bank, which is called the VHF Marine. And we can see that down here at the bottom. These are all the banks that are available for scanning. If there's other banks you would like to see, please let me know and I will add them in. The current channel. The current frequency. The current steps. The mode. The filter size. And here we can see the modes that we can set. The IF filter step. Okay, so we can go through, we can change this to AM, CW, upper and lower sideband. And you can see the change on display here. We can also change the IF filter, and you'll notice the change here. If the scanner receives, the meter will peak, and we can change that as well. So let's take a look and see what we have in the VHF Marine Bank. Using the VFO key, we can now step around. And I'm just left clicking the mouse to move up the move down the dial. Now if I right click, I am now moving up the dial. So say you wanted to scan the VHF Marine Bank. Let's also go to the railroad bank and we're going to scan that bank as well. Let's step through all the additional banks to verify that we are not scanning those as well. And now we click on the scan key. We'll now see that the scanner is scanning up the bank. And when we come across something that comes on the air, the radio will stop and we'll see what, uh, see what it picks up. So as you can see, we've picked up one hit on this frequency here. The meter has moved, and we can see this activity on the frequency. Now if we want to leave it here, we can hold the channel. And now we've taken the scanner out of scan mode, and we are set on this frequency. If there's a frequency you'd like to put in yourself, you may do so by clicking on the dial here. And clicking Enter. And now we're on NOAA radio. You can go through the frequency and you can step up and down the frequency. You can change the delay on the scan. You can change the scan speed. So let's go back into the VHF Marine Bank. Hit scan. And we're changing the scan speed here. And you can see at the bottom, we're changing our sample time. Now that we've gone through the basics of using the radio, let's go into a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of what you can do with this online scanner. 
Look in here, we have the state police car to car frequency, and we have a TSQ, or tone squelch. Maybe you want to turn that off. You can go up into controls, CTCSS tone squelch, and you can change the tone. You can turn it off, reverse it, or even search for a PL tone. Now, this could also lead to some confusion. If you stop on a frequency that has a TSQ, and now you try to listen to something on your own, you'll notice that the TSQ is enabled still. Even though you see it's busy and there's signal on the meter, you will not hear it because the tone squelch hasn't been tripped. You'll have to go to Control, Tone Search, and turn it off. And now the tone squelch is gone. Now by clicking on Controls and Frequency Selector, you'll bring up another way of going through and entering your own frequencies in the radio. Now keep in mind, I do have certain sets of ranges blocked from the PCR1000 server. You will not be able to pick up cordless phones, government, or medical control channels. You can also change the AFC, the AGC. You can attenuate any channel by 20 dB, enable the noise blanker or voice squelch. You can also set the server to connect automatically at startup, which means the next time you run PCR Remote, you'll automatically connect to the server, as long as the password has not changed. If I enable it on my side of the server, you may also run the band scope. Let's also take a look here. We can change the volume by moving up and down. We can adjust the squelch. We can also adjust the IF shift if we were in CW or sideband. Now occasionally there are updates to the PCR server and the PCR remote. In order to check for updates, simply go to help and check for updates and you'll find out if there's any updates available for your copy of PCR Remote. And if you'd like to double check to see if the W2LIE.net PCR1000 is online, you can go to online servers. And this will open up a web page, and you can see that the W2LIE.net web radio is currently online. And to disconnect from the PCR1000 and the PCR remote software, simply click on the power button over here on the right-hand side, and the connection will drop. And those are the steps to install and use the software required to operate the PCR1000 radio at w2lie.net.